The New Forest has many internationally important wetland habitats. At the heart of these wetlands are the bogs and mires. They act as sponges, slowly releasing their water down the network of streams and rivers. They naturally regulate themselves. But in the mid-1800s, a wide, straight drain was dug to remove water quickly from a part of the forest. The original meandering stream through Fletcher's thorns was replaced. It was a change that would have far-reaching consequences. In times of heavy rain, the river could not escape the man-made channel with its high banks. The force of the water continually eroded the gravel bed and the banks got higher, which prevented any seasonal flooding out onto the original floodplain. The flood water would have carried alluvial deposits that would have enriched the surrounding grasslands. And it's these streamside lawns with their seasonal overspill, which are now known to be highly beneficial to livestock. The higher level stewardship scheme allowed the present work to be undertaken and thereby remedy those past detriments to Fletcher's stream. To find the old watercourse, the driver's map of 1789 was used, along with LIDAR, and tracing the remains of old meanders on the ground. With the restoration proposal drawn up, a wide range of stakeholders were consulted and approval was granted. The necessary licenses and consents were also obtained, and the groundwork got underway. A number of trees and scrub had to be marked for removal. This not only allowed access, but revealed lost lawns in the process, and would give much better growing conditions for streamside vegetation in the years to come. A number of sensitivities and constraints had to be considered. Any vegetation removal had to be done before the onset of the bird breeding season. Veteran trees were protected from damage to their root systems and databases were checked for records of rare flora and fauna. Detailed archaeological surveys were undertaken and formal consent was provided by English Heritage to work within the scheduled ancient monument at Queen's Bower. The 1800s drain had cut straight through this medieval hunting lodge. Saving as many fish as possible before the machines moved in was undertaken by the Environment Agency. Electrofishing caught many large and small species which were released safely away from danger. The rarer plants weren't ignored either. Having colonised the old meander, the scarce adder's tongue fern was in danger of being crushed. So large sections of turf were translocated to a safe site nearby. Work could now begin in earnest on the restoration of the original meandering course of the Fletcher's stream. The size and shape of the original meandering stream was guided by the depth of the natural river gravels, still present under 150 years of leaf litter and soil. Deeper pools on the bends were complemented by faster flows over riffles, with the end result being a naturally diverse and dynamic stream system. Once the restored stream began to flow, the straight drain of the 1800s was totally infilled. A vast amount of locally resourced material was used to infill 1,200 metres of drain. Specialist vehicles with balloon tyres minimised ground damage as they delivered large 20-tonne loads of material. The skill and expertise of the contractors was evident in the quality of the finish. From 1,200 metres of straight drain, almost twice that had been restored to a pre-1800s meandering stream. The work was completed with vegetation reinstatement, covering tracks, softening harsh lines and replacing retained topsoil, turves and vegetation to ensure a rapid recovery. Six months on after an autumn leaf fall, the only vestiges of a straight 1800s drain is an avenue through the wood. The restored meanders may take a little while to bed themselves in, but they are back where they once were. As an indication of what can be expected, the section of Fletcher's immediately above this stretch, which was worked upon a year earlier, has already clothed itself with fauna and flora. The end result of this HLS project is a restored watercourse which is able to interact with its floodplain. Ultimately, the aim is to safeguard our vulnerable wetland habitats and hopefully give them a natural longevity. <laughs>